Why was the future Miss World bullied by her classmates? How did Nick Jonas shock her when they first met? And how did Priyanka react to comments about their age difference? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's find out. How her brokenness made her. Priyanka may be famous and loved by millions now, but things were very different when she was a child. Her parents were doctors in the Indian Army, and as a result, their family had to move a lot. Little Priyanka didn't mind traveling and changing schools because she liked to see new places and learn about new cultures. But at some point, she experienced the darker side of being in a new place. When Chopra was 13, she moved to the United States to study and live with her aunt. And that's when she faced racial issues and was bullied for being Indian. Her classmates called Priyanka awful names, such as Brownie and Curry. And once, she was even cornered just outside her school. Priyanka fought back until school counselors intervened and stopped the fight. But it left a mark on Priyanka's personality. It broke my spirit, she once shared. It made me question who I was. Why was it so uncool being Indian? But that was only part of her struggle. She also had a huge cultural shock. Even in the cafeteria, Priyanka had no idea how to place an order, pay, or take the food she ordered. I didn't want to look like an idiot, so I used to take chips from the vending machine and eat them in the toilet, she revealed. Gee, it's no wonder that Priyanka suffered from low self-esteem as a teenager. But she didn't let it stop her. On the contrary, Chopra's brokenness became the reason she started to work so hard on herself. Three years later, she went back to India a completely different person. She wasn't only a more confident individual, but she was also turning into a beautiful young woman. Priyanka's appearance changed so much that she started having countless admirers. Once, some guy climbed to her balcony and peeped at her through the window. After that, Chopra's father put bars on their home's window and even barricaded Priyanka's bed. But despite all those measures, soon the whole world would see her beauty. From Miss World to a Hollywood star. When Priyanka came back to India, she planned to study at the Army Public School. But then she suddenly won Miss India and was crowned Miss World in 2000. She was only 18 at the time, so it didn't happen that long after her classmates in the United States bullied her. The beauty pageants quickly brought Chopra fame. She soon started receiving many offers to play in Bollywood movies and dropped out of college. And at that point, she was no longer afraid of handling new challenges. The pageant has helped me face the people. I am not nervous in front of an audience anymore, Priyanka admitted to an Indian newspaper years ago. One of her first movies, a spy thriller, The Hero, Love Story of a Spy, gained positive reviews, and her performance in it was praised. She then went on to star in Bollywood blockbusters. But let's face it, becoming famous only in India wasn't enough for such a beautiful and ambitious woman. Priyanka's first glimpse of international fame came when she made a music video, In My City, with rapper Will I Am in 2012. In the same year, she became the first Bollywood star ever signed to the Creative Artists Agency based in Los Angeles. Then she lent her voice to an airplane in the Disney animated movie Planes. But her big breakthrough came when she got the lead role in the ABC series Quantico. Priyanka played an FBI agent who finds herself in the middle of a terrorist attack in New York City. Thus, she became the first Indian woman to star in a leading American TV drama. As the actress later revealed, her main requirement for starring in the series was her ethnicity wouldn't be the central aspect. I want to have a plot. I want to have a story, Priyanka said back then, and she got what she wanted. To prepare for the role, Chopra spent several days training with real FBI agents to make sure that she'd correctly portray her character. Her performance was highly praised, and in only a year, she received the People's Choice Award for Favorite Actress. Once again, Priyanka became the first South Asian actress to get this award. But her acting talent isn't the only thing that made her loved by millions. It was also her good heart. Making dreams come true. Ever since she became famous, Priyanka has been supporting various causes with the help of the Priyanka Chopra Foundation for Health and Education, which she created to support underprivileged kids. She even pays tuition for 70 kids in India who would probably never get an education and proper medical care if it wasn't for her. Education has always been very important to me. It means you don't have to depend on anyone else, the actress explains in her decision to help. 
Priyanka believes that although she can't completely eradicate poverty, it's crucial that she's making sure that these kids' dreams will come true. To help even more people in need, Chopra became a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. She travels to countries like Ethiopia and Bangladesh to provide support, education, and rights for refugee children. A prominent feminist, Priyanka often speaks out on women's issues both in her motherland India and worldwide. She became a spokeswoman for the UN's Girl Up campaign and an ambassador for Girl Rising. Every girl should have the opportunity to reach her full potential, the actress commented on joining the campaign, acting, helping people all over the world, speaking up for women's rights. When did this gorgeous woman find time for romance, you might wonder? Well, for a while, she didn't. A few years ago, Priyanka opened up to Marie Claire. I'm not someone who looks for love. I don't believe in making it happen. But although she wasn't looking for love at the moment, her soulmate was just around the corner. Becoming Mrs. Jonas Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas publicly appeared together for the first time at the 2017 Met Gala. They spurred dating rumors right away, but at the time, they were just friends. Yet, it's evident that they were attracted to each other from the very beginning. Very recently, Priyanka revealed that what appealed to her most about Nick was his self-confidence. I was shocked by his audaciousness, actually. He held my hand. He turned me around. I was like, what is happening? He was bold, confident, self-assured, she shared. Well, wouldn't you be shocked if a man you've just met got down on his knees in front of you? That's exactly what Nick did when he saw Priyanka for the first time. Here's how Jonas himself describes their meeting. I put my drink down. Get on one knee. This is in front of a bunch of people. And I say, you're real. Where have you been all my life? Incredible! Soon enough, we started hearing more and more dating rumors. At the beginning of 2018, Priyanka and Nick went on vacation together, went to the Beauty and the Beast live concert, and although they didn't display too much PDA, they still looked pretty in love. After a while, they started commenting on each other's posts using heart emojis, and then attended Nick's cousin's wedding together. Although the lovebirds didn't share anything with their fans, it was evident that their love affair was going strong. And later the same year, an insider spilled the beans to People magazine that Nick had proposed to Priyanka the day after her birthday, and she said yes. After a month, the two finally confirmed the rumors and posted a sweet photo on their Instagram accounts. Nick captioned it, future Mrs. Jonas, my heart, my love, while Priyanka wrote, taken with all my heart and soul. How sweet. They tied the knot in December that same year in India. The couple had a multiple-day wedding that included a lavish ceremony based on the Indian traditions and a Christian service led by Nick's father. Needless to say, the newlyweds look gorgeous together, and it's all despite the numerous claims that their relationship wouldn't last because of their 10-year age difference. People gave us a lot of shit about that, and still do, the actress once commented. She added that if you flip the genders so the guy is older, it doesn't seem to be a problem to the public anymore. And as if discussing their ages wasn't enough, people also started saying their love wasn't real and their marriage was a scam. Everyone in the Chopra Jonas family immediately stood up to protect Priyanka and Nick, and the media, who released an article about it, soon apologized. But Priyanka herself couldn't care less. Commenting on someone's stupidity means it eventually becomes important because I gave it importance, she explained. So she just kept on living a happy life with her husband, who, as she shares, makes her feel protected and calm. The actress added that their relationship works so well because no matter what, they're always on each other's sides. He said that to me very early. He was like, I'm always in your corner. We're not on different sides of the room. Priyanka shared, and she's also said that she wants as many kids as possible with her husband. But becoming a supermama isn't the only plan Priyanka has for the future. What should we expect next? Like most of us, Priyanka spent most of 2020 in quarantine, so she had a lot of time to spend at home with her beloved hubby and make plans for the future. One of the things she now strives to do is become a screenwriter. I've always been fascinated with writing, Chopra said to Marie Claire. Having written the memoir, I feel a bit more confident about it. I do want my evolution creatively to be in the writing-directing space. Besides, she'll soon also publish her memoir titled Unfinished. When Priyanka talked about it on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon almost two years ago, she said she decided to write it because she had always been a private person and never shared details about her personal life. But getting married changed her. I found my feet a lot more as a woman. 
as a person. I'm not so insecure. I felt like this was the right time to delve into things before I change my mind and go back into my shell again. The actress shared, It will certainly be exciting to read this memoir that probably contains a lot of juicy information about her becoming a Bollywood and Hollywood star. It's also exciting to see Priyanka in some new movies. Recently, we watched her brilliant performance in the superhero film We Can Be Heroes and the critically acclaimed drama The White Tiger. And this year, she'll also appear in the fourth installment of The Matrix in an undisclosed role. So, it looks like Chopra's life couldn't be better now that she's become an accomplished actress, writer, an aspiring screenwriter, and a happy woman in love with her husband. If you want to know more about Priyanka and Nick's relationship, watch our video about it. Thanks for watching.